Hey guys, welcome to Bombay TV. Guys, I'm checking out Muhammad Ali dropping knowledge in 1974. Guys, I am pretty sure by this time my mom and dad did not think of giving birth to me. Like, she, it wasn't in her plans at all. But guys, let's get straight into this. Together. The buzzers, everything hangs out with its own. White people are cultures different from black people. Puerto Ricans and Indonesians cannot integrate. Egyptians and Germans cannot integrate. Australians and Mexicans cannot integrate. They have different foods, they have different music, different cultures. See, you white and I'm black. If white people have a party tonight and black people have a party, the party will be 100% different. The music, I go in a white restaurant, we integrate today, white. Right? You go in a white restaurant, you gotta look all day no. on the jukebox to find some music. No, no, no. At, at our hear. party, we'll have Aretha Franklin, oh, and Stevie now. Wonder, let me, and... Let me tell you now, if I go pale jukebox in a white restaurant, anybody black Italian here, you gotta look all over that box for some black music. Hank Snow. Uh, uh, Johnny Cash, uh, Josh all White, of, all yeah. kind of names I ain't never heard of. You know, <laughs> when that train comes around that mountain, <laughs> when that train, 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 train <laughs> and that truck driver, man. So what I'm saying is, uh, 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 ain't nothing with that music, but that fits the white culture. You go in our joints, oh baby, don't leave. <laughs> oh, I cried all night. Who's that running out of my back door, honey? Oh, but see, those are problems. Then I go to Chinese restaurant, clean, ting, tang, tong, tong, ting. So we can't integrate. Yeah. We ain't gonna never have no peace. The culture, the nature's different. I don't hate you. We can eat in your restaurant. We want to marry your women. We got your women now. It ain't nothing we can't do today. But these things the dog got. I see dogs on television eating out of the same plate with white people. I see dogs in the buses, and they do everything with the dogs. So I ain't getting nothing the dog ain't got. <laughs> so really, ain't nothing in this integration. I need some land. I need some jobs. My people need jobs. We need some something so we can build and do for ourselves, and we must have some land. 40 million people. You know, it's a lot of Negroes just in New York, in Cleveland, Baltimore, Washington, California. It's a lot of million? black. Ooh, that's million. a whole nation. 40 million, man. They don't tell you the truth about that. They want us to stop having babies. They I give them birth control. Million. They're paying black women it's not to have babies It's 40 million, not now. 20 million? Yeah, they're paying black women not to have babies now. They got all kind of plans to stop our race. Well, we, everyone, so when we know everyone's all of this, getting into birth so control, now a man, with, a man with my knowledge, what can you tell a man like me now? What should, what's your suggestion? That's your question. Okay, you talking to me, not a dumb Negro or a poke shop eater, don't know the truth. I'm free now. I woke up. Now, what are you going to tell me now? I done gave you my solution. Some land of my own, doing something for myself like you, England, and America do. Now, I know you're not against the black man. I know you're not against me having my land, are you? Not I know you English and ruled and slaved forever for a long time. But do you, do you still today don't want me to have my own country and build for myself and govern myself? Would you think that's bad if we thought like that? I well, what's your solution to my problem? 1974, then you all just, some white man just flew from New York to England in a hour, less than two hours. You all are so progressive. You're walking around on other planets. Now, today, I'm intelligent too now. What do you, what, what's your suggestion? What should be my movement? Integrate? Yeah, equal rights in, in a mixed society. In this society, where you still own the government, you still own the train station, the railroad plant, the lecture plant, these television cameras, you still make all the food, you control everything, and I'm like a leech on a dog's back. All I can do is just wait for you. I can't do nothing for myself. Integrating it in your society don't mean I'm doing nothing for myself. You're doing it all. I want to do something for myself. I'm tired of depending on you. You might get broke one day. Your stores might close. Your gas pumps might cut off again. I'm relying on you now. Can I have my my own land and country? Well, you've got your own freedom here, for instance. I know you're luckier than many black oh, people I'm in America, but me. you're your own I'm boss. I'm speaking for my nation. See? I know, I appreciate that. If I was that. representing just me, I wouldn't be talking like this, because I got it made. Mm -hmm. I'm talking for my brothers. Who's out but I just don't around. see how, Mohammed, I don't, don't see how. how you can slice up America into bits and get well, all the whites in one area and all the blacks well, in another. We, then we leave then. We get to we leave. But they'd miss you. I know it. <laughs> One last question. At the end of your life, whether it was Allah who was saying it, Elijah Muhammad, or whether it was something that someone wrote about yeah. you after you'd gone, what's the thing you would most like people to say about your life? He was a great champion, or what? What would you like people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. 
He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He added lots of faith, and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime, and he served it to each and every deserving person he met. Muhammad Ali, thank you very much. Right. Wow. Guys, this was an amazing stuff. You won't be honest. I enjoyed it. I felt it. It was phenomenal. Guys, this was amazing. Like, you've seen an amazing black man fighting for his people. It's just that, like, it's, I don't know what is more beautiful than it, but, like, it is amazing. Like, you've seen someone fighting for his nation in the way, like, the way he was right now and the way he talked about himself, how he wants to remember. Like, Muhammad Ali, he was a great fighter and he is a legend. You want to be honest, he is a legend and he rests in our heart forever and i believe that his story is going to be told to younger generations and generations to come because i feel all these all these black men who made history my Ali, michael jackson like the made history will be honest it is a lot for the black culture and at least are people that fought for the equal rights uh, that we have now i i won't say it's equal yet but like the first the rights we have now I feel it's equal, if I'm be honest. But I, black has still looked at a certain way, but I pretty feel it's equal because a lot of people have had the understanding. Like, knowledge has been passed, that, like, we are the same for the fact that black is not being limited. Like, I feel b more black celebrities are coming up, and like, it's, it's, I, I don't really feel there's, I pretty feel it's equal, to be honest. If I'm being honest with myself, I feel we are equal now. I feel it's equal. I feel hey, we we were not equal, but I feel right now, 2023, like, yeah, I can use the word equal. Yes, we are. So, guys, don't worry, talk about this video. Don't show to like, share, subscribe to our channel. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. First.